What's going on YouTube? Zero Elite here, and I'm back again with a new video. Episode 74, the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's video, and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we've got about a 37 minute video. We're going to be focusing our efforts on the Admiral's Quarters, and um, this is uh, this quarters was referenced from Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan. Um, I don't believe they showed Admiral's quarters on the TOS Enterprise, but I think this will be good enough. Still the same uh, Constitution class ship, essentially. So we're going to let it ride. Um, we're up in our saucer section and the turbo lift. So we're going to go out of the turbo lift here in just a moment. We're going to go down our main hallway, and we're going to go down to the right on our inner circle corridor. To the middle and then we're gonna go right so we're gonna make our right here this is right across from medical bay entrance you can see i've already placed three blocks down that's where our entrance is going to be from each doorway it should be six blocks so when you do on this side and that's how we space that out to find the exact middle and anything behind this green, we're going to take out behind that. So it would be three wide and three high. Just like we've done previously with uh, all of our other doorways. And we're going to repeat the same process again on our pattern for our doorway. And then we'll get right into uh, building out. Uh, pretty accurate to what this is. Uh, I think the only exception that we're going to make with this room, instead of it uh, caddy cornering at an angle i think we're just going to have it going straight across it's going to work out a little bit better um, especially if i decide that i want to add another uh admiral's quarter slash vip quarters directly across from it uh, because that's something i've been considering doing as well uh, because i still have a little bit of room to fill out on the ship and uh, i was thinking about that it doesn't sound practical just to have one M uh vip quarters you probably want to have at least two not like they're going to be used all the time because you're not going to be having an admiral on your ship every single day um and whatnot at least that's the logic behind it so i think uh what we'll do is uh i'm going to build this out now but um after we're done with this i'm actually going to repeat the process again directly across from me we should be able to do that but um we'll get in that in the next couple of episodes and we'll talk about how you can do that um, but this is, uh, this should be pretty straightforward. We're going to throw down a couple of sea lanterns here to light up the area just a little bit. And we're going to start rocking. And I actually stand corrected. I think this is actually Kirk's quarters from, um, the motion picture, uh, the first Star Trek movie, but still it's the same model, uh, design that he had from uh it was star trek 2 also they just kind of redesigned uh, the walls a little bit but the shape of it was overall pretty much exactly identical so it's building out our doorway here i make sure everything matches up I'm just going to double check, go back over one of my other doorways that I have, just to make sure that I have the same patterns with my roof. So obviously I have a white and then a red line. So that's just what I need to repeat right here. I'm just going to do the same thing above. There we go. <clears throat> now we're looking good. And not a heck of a lot left to do at this point. A um, couple more rooms uh, left that we have to go off on the checklist. Uh, we'll have to finish uh, wrapping up the crew quarters, uh, the different uh, class ones, you know, between admirals, captains, and uh, junior officers quarters. And once we do that, we still have the arbitrarium to do, um, as well as the... Uh, conference room i've already built all that stuff though so that's going to be each one of those will be separate episodes we'll pr probably be done with that by mid next week if not by the end of next week and then um, the only other room that i have left to do at that point really is uh the gymnasium which is going to be something that i'm going to add uh, because i think that would be cool to do um 
I had somebody ask me if I was going to add a librarian. I don't think I'm going to add a librarian on the enterprise just because uh, the TOS enterprise never had one. Um, all the information was stored inside their computers. Uh, computer room, that could be an idea, though. I'll have to do a little bit of research to see if I can find anything if I want to do that. But I think we're getting to a point where we're really going to start winding down on this tutorial series and wrapping it up, just getting the last of the rooms done and filling in the last of the saucer section so we can move on to other things. Um, I've got a, I've already completed the build for my mock Enterprise D tutorial in preparation of building a full scale Enterprise D. And I believe I'm going to set uh, that as a premiere to the first episode to come out on Monday. Uh, with the way I had the capture set up, I think. I have that. It's going to be split up between three episodes, and I'm more than likely going to release those weekly just so I can finish up the Disco Enterprise Tutorial 2, and I'll have that uh, Enterprise D mock tutorial starting on Tuesday, more than likely. Um, I'll know tomorrow um, on Friday's video for uh, certain what I'm going to do with that, and I'll let, you, uh, I'll let everybody know. But <clears throat> once that's the... Uh, uh, gone through, which is, like I said, it's going to be quick. It's only three episodes. And uh, that we finished uh, the Disco Enterprise. Then we're going to be moving on to my next uh, full-scale build, which is going to be the Cerritos. And I'm really excited about that, uh, to do that ship. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's uh, going to present its own challenges. Um, there's going to be a couple of things. I don't know if we're going to be able <clears throat> to do it to build a full, full scale uh, Cerritos with a working interior, but um, we'll get into that, into the meat of it when I start doing that tutorial and I'll explain why. But I have a, I think I've got a couple ways to get around it. Um, the issues I'm seeing really what it is, uh, just to give you a heads up, is that way they have uh, the Cerritos uh, design, they have uh, the turbo lifts going through the um, pylons of the ship and that's what holds the engines to the saucer and the angle that they're going at there's no way to fit um, uh, a turbo lift in there going vertically because it's going to be going caddy corner at an angle and the only thing that we'd literally be able to do is put a staircase a really awkward staircase in there going up which could be something that I end up doing, but I'm going to have to build this out and see first what I'm going to be able to do with it. But again, we'll cross that bridge once we get there, but it's something that I definitely am planning on doing. One of the reasons I want to build the Cerritos is that, um, one, I think it's a cool ship, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, Star Trek Lower Decks. If you have not watched the show, I definitely recommend it. It has a ton of heart, and you know, it's even though it's a comedy, <clears throat> at its core, it's straight Star Trek. And... Uh, one of the other reasons uh, I want to build, I mean, other than I think the ship looks cool, is uh, it's a precursor to me to the Enterprise D. And if you look at those two ships side by side, the Cerritos is a smaller ship, but um, a lot of the elements on the Cerritos were directly influenced by the Enterprise D. And I think that'll be a good precursor to build that out beforehand. Uh, before I do the D as opposed to building Voyager and then doing the D. So that's definitely going to be coming up and uh, that's going to be next. I don't have uh, any teasers as of yet, um, but as soon as I'm ready to show something, uh, I'll definitely let everybody know when I have that. Um, getting back into what I got going on here just a little bit, you can see I've just been working on my walls going up against our uh, corridor here. And I'm literally just building out this curve right here as much as we can in Minecraft because, I mean, we really, there's no way to replicate this. But I think kind of what I got going on here is pretty good. And it's not going to be a super big room, um, but this is definitely going to be uh, the biggest um, private cabin on the ship. Every other cabin will be a little bit smaller than this one after this class. The captain's one will be slightly smaller. And then junior officer's quarters will be slightly smaller than the captain's quarters. And you can see that uh, the admiral's quarters here, I'm actually not building this um, against uh, the outer wall of uh, the saucer. And I was thinking about that, and I was originally going to, and I thought, you know, um, if this would be considered like an admiral's quarters or like a VIP uh, 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 room, it wouldn't make a heck of a lot of sense to have it have the um, the room right on the, the edge of the saucer where 
would essentially be kind of like at a vulnerable spot. You'd want to put them somewhere where they're safe. And uh, so it just made a little bit more sense to me at that point to put it here. And uh, could be wrong, but I also think that even the captain's quarters on uh, on the Enterprise, I don't think it had a window either. I know that Spock's did, but when they showed uh, Kirk's quarters in um, Star Trek VI, pretty sure it didn't have a window in it. But I'm going to go back and watch that again just to make sure. But um, again, we'll we'll get into that when we start to work on the bedroom for the captain, all the crew quarters for the captain. But I think this is going to be a pretty good build. So I'm working on building this archway right here. I'm not going to do any glass um, because when I uh, I've done this room before, because when I did the Enterprise A, I did my bedrooms in a very similar way because I mean this is how they are classed in Starfleet. You're assigned a quarters based off of what your rank is. So not everybody, unless it's like a giant ship like a galaxy class starship, not everybody's going to have their own bedroom. Um, it's only going to be the actual officers. Um, so, and this this is, you know, again, one of the reasons why I'm going through and making all those different class rooms. But uh, the point I was trying to make is that I've made this room before my Enterprise A, and I did it a little bit differently. I had the glass right along here, and I don't know, it just looked a little bit tacky. And that's just one of the things I'm trying to do just a little bit differently with this uh Builds. Um, not trying to make a carbon copy of my Enterprise A, and I'm trying to make this a little bit closer to uh, a TOS version, you know, through and through. But again, you know, there's going to be points uh, where we have no choice but to reference uh, either other versions of the same ship and whatnot. And this is just one of those cases where they uh, they just never showed. Uh, the Admiral's Quarters, from what my knowledge is, so we'll just use this one. And I don't think anybody's really going to bat an eye at it. Um, I think it's going to come out pretty good. One of the good things, <clears throat> I think, with this build, that by the time we're done with it, um, it's going to feel like a pretty fleshed-out Enterprise. Um, I don't think... Uh, anybody is really going to question why it doesn't have multiple levels on it because at the end of the day um, even with uh, if we had put on multiple levels there would have been a guarantee at that point that uh, we would have had a ton of empty rooms because even as it is uh, the saucer section uh, technically it's only one deck but if you go towards the center of the saucer then technically it's i think either three or four can't remember that off the top of my head i think it's three but still, um, if we had even two decks on the saucer section, uh, I think that would have been too much. I think that we just would have had a bunch of empty rooms, and that's not something I necessarily wanted to do here. And I think this is going to work out just a little bit better, at least for me anyway. But one of the cool things when you're doing these ships, you know, there's no really uh, set way to do them since they don't necessarily have a set 100% set in stone blueprint, especially this version of the Enterprise. It just doesn't exist. So you can take a heck of a lot of liberties with it and really do whatever you want. But I don't want to really stray too far away from what they've done with the other shows and movies. You know, I think this is going to work out. We're getting our detailing in on our ceiling. And you can see I'm using a little bit of the same design cues that we've used in our other rooms. And this is going to help tie this room together with the rest of the ship a little bit. Using these white squares to go around our sea lanterns. I think that looks pretty good. Gives it a nice little distinct trait that you're on the on the uh, TOS Enterprise or Pike Enterprise, whatever you want to refer to it as, or Disco Enterprise, which is really what this what I'm modeling this ship off of. It's the Disco Enterprise, but with some influences from the TOS for sure. I'm trying to think whether I want to close in this uh, wall all the way or not. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm going to end up putting a full block there. But I'm also going to make another doorway right here. And kind of make this like uh, this middle point here like an entryway point into the uh, 
admiral's quarters. So you can either go to the left, which would kind of be like considered like, you know, the living room, and then you can go to the right, which be would be considered the bedroom. This is pretty much, you know, top of the line that you can get on on the TOS Enterprise. This, and you're only getting this room if you're either admiral or VIP. Otherwise, you're if you're an ensign, forget about it. You're going, you're getting a bunk in in, in general crew quarters. That's just the way it's going to have to be. I do think that. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think on the Kelvin uh, universe, I do believe that the Enterprise had bedrooms for everybody. But even with that ship, that Enterprise was like massive. They made it like as big as the Enterprise D. So I can see in that sense why you, uh, uh, why you know maybe you could add more bedrooms possibly. But still, I think they made that ship just way too massive. I like that the Enterprise, you know, is a little bit smaller. You know, it should feel small and compact. You know, I don't like the whole too much of the whole grandiose thing, you know, making it giant, uh, ginormous and over the top. So now we're going to hop into the second part of our recording session. This is three parts that I had recorded. I'm just trying to get this entryway point set. I think that could be pretty good. going to change that from the quartz to the white concrete and I think that'll look much better. This dark wall I think is what's messing it up in here. And the rest of the ship I think that looks fantastic but I think in this room here um, that might be something that we have to do to lighten it up a little bit to uh, make this wall lighter and then you know throw in some uh, vibrant colors maybe like uh, a green or a blue. You see, I'm keeping this pillar that we started in the middle to go all the way across to give the room a little bit of a structure. What we can do now is taper that off with a half slab. And we're going to bring that all the way down into this room and then into this last room, which is the bedroom. <clears throat> the last of the ceiling closed in. All right, we're looking good. And I think this room is really starting to come together. It's a very basic design, but I think it really suits the Admiral's quarters. I'm not feeling those uh, two staircases there I put there as, as a couch, not with that color. Um, we're going to have to switch to a brighter color because otherwise it just kind of blends in with the floor, and I, I'm not a fan. So we're going to have to make some changes there. So I'm grabbing some blue because I'm thinking that, you know, maybe I can have that stand in as like maybe like a TV screen or something like that. That's maybe like a desk area. Which wouldn't necessarily look bad. Could totally leave that and I think... Uh, that would look pretty good, but I don't know. I'm not necessarily set on it. I think it needs just a little bit more love. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like pillars going to, or a row of pillar going across the bottom. Now this could work. So what we will do is this top row here, we're going to put lights and then this bottom row, do the dark gray concrete. And we'll have to fill in the back wall, but we can do like a row of glass. And I think that'll look pretty good. Because if you've done that, uh, well, I don't believe we've actually uh, done that for you guys yet. Um, I have uh, started to do that in some of the other rooms, which we're going to get into. But this is something that I started to do with the Admiral's Quarters. And I brought this over into a couple of the other rooms to bring them together. But I like how it has... Uh, 
that uh, that green glass and in, in the wall like that. Uh, we did a little bit of that, I think, in the medical bay, but it was actually going through to another wall. This is the first time we've done it where there's actually a wall behind it, just to make it a, you know, purely decoration only. I think it actually looks pretty good. So now we're going to swap this wall out with white concrete instead of the darker gray. And that will definitely, it's going to brighten the room up a heck of a lot more than what it's currently at. Now I need a bed. I'm trying to decide on what color I want to do. I think we might do light blue because we have green in general crew quarters. I uh, don't necessarily have to do the same color bed in every room. I don't know if I like that. I might have to go up against this back wall right here where the sea lantern's at. There we go. I think that works a lot better than what we have. So now I can't build up any higher than that, otherwise we're going outside. All right, cool. So we have those two walls swapped out to a lighter color. Uh, we could probably do this side too and not build into our corridor. Yeah, because I think uh, it'll be appropriate for this room using the lighter color. Just for some of the other rooms, I mean, we could have added sea lanterns to brighten it up too, and we will. We'll add a couple more to make it just a little bit brighter, but it's bright enough, and I think just making the lighter color here helps too, but um, that's something that you want to be conscious of on your ship because you have to think, if you look at the TOS Enterprise, it was not the brightest ship. Like, the, the way that it was lit, I mean, obviously, you know, they made it in the 60s, but it had, like, an aura to it. Like, it, it had, like, its own unique look. It wasn't super bright. It kind of had like, you know, this Star Trek mood color going on with like the gr different colors, like the greens and the reds and yellows in some points, but, um, and the shadows in the background, like I can't really describe it other than that, but that's something that I've kind of tried to replicate a little bit here, which is why I'm using like these different color stained glass in the background to try to make like maybe those colors pop a little bit more, kind of like how it did in the TOS, or well, that's the idea behind it anyway. Really like those stained glass I did there. I might actually have that going straight across the this room here, just because it would look so uh, decadent. I think. So we're gonna make an edit to the bedroom or the living room wall now. We're going to take off those half slabs and we're just going to, let's see, we're also going to take away the two uh, darker gray blocks we had as the stairs and we're going to replace that with the red nether blocks, or red nether bricks. But even that, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, because even the darker color chair there just doesn't look right. So we can't build any further back because there's a corridor there. So we're kind of 
stuck right there with the room that we have, which is okay. We'll work around it. So I think we're just, what we're just going to do is close that back in, and we'll do what we had on that row with the red. Just have to figure out a different color for the chairs, something that's not going to blend in so much. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Might just be easier just to take that extra pillar out, these two blocks. We're going to take out this bottom row with a dark gray and replace that with white concrete. In just a moment, we're going to do the same pattern with the glass like we had in the other two rooms. And I think that will definitely be appropriate here. Take out these two. And even though this one's three and the bedroom one is three, these two can be two. I think that'll be fine. All right, so we're going to swap that out with the darker. Then we're going to fill in the back wall. We also have to do the, ceil uh, the ceiling right here with the sea lanterns. We want to make sure we put that in. Otherwise, when we do the um when we make this and put the glass in it's going to look a lot darker we want it to pop just a little bit more i don't know if i wanted two rooms with green might just want to swap that out to a different color Maybe make the bedroom light blue. That be, might be a nice contrast between the three. And then in the middle here, we do the blue to emphasize the TV screen, maybe. Definitely want to have those blocks going down here for the floor, make their doorway, just make it feel a little bit more complete when you have that uh, pattern going along the floor. Anytime you have an entryway point. There we go. Now we have a little bit more light in our entryway point. Room's really starting to come together. We've already flown by uh, this episode, uh, 20 minutes just went right by and we've already down in the last eight minutes but uh hopefully you've all been enjoying uh what i've been able to come up with i trying to stay true to the enterprise where i can and where i can't uh just try to translate it over the best i can within minecraft um and carry over you know the spirit and everything of the enterprise as much as possible but i think this room uh, really came out great I was going to put a couch against his back wall uh, because it just made a little bit more sense, but it kind of went against the picture. Um,
which I don't know. I think uh, at some point I might actually go back and put the and have a couch going up against this wall just because it would make way more sense. Because you wouldn't want to be sitting there watching the TV from a weird angle. And this was something I tried, just doing the red strip straight across. But I think with just the three blocks wide was the better way to go. You see, I'm even trying a different color. That's really some of the time what it's going to come down to, just putting a couple of different things down, seeing how it looks, and then, you know, just trying to come up with the best, uh, best one that you think. But this is, again, you know, one of those cases you can kind of take a little bit of liberties here and there with the color of it. We're going to add the red back in because it just it looks so plain without it. Oh, we need that. Now we're building into the corridors. So put that back. Do a little bit of detailing on the right. And then right here, I was going to make this into a bathroom, but we really don't have a heck of a lot of room to work with here. So, um, I think I'm just going to mostly just facade it out and give the impression that there's a bathroom here. Uh, this was something that I didn't do for uh, general crew quarters. I had it on the Enterprise A, but the more I just thought about it, I was like, you know, it's not something I don't think anyone's necessarily going to miss. Was it something that I could have put in? Yeah. But then even in Minecraft, it's not like, you know, your character can go to the restroom. So for that reason, I just decided that if I didn't have it in one of the bedrooms, it probably wouldn't make sense just to have it in one. So I might actually just close out, close off this wall here um, and just, you know, make uh, the impression that you could go in there for the bathroom and call it a day with that. But I don't know. If you think that I should have full bathrooms, drop a comment below. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. Because, uh, again, you know, one of the great things about Minecraft is that there's just no, there's really no right and wrong way of doing it, you know. Just because what I'm doing here, you know, it's not set in stone. I'm just trying to give everyone an idea of what they could do um, with their bedrooms or the interior of their ship on Minecraft. But this was something that took me quite a bit of time just doing research and piecing the, the Enterprise together, the interior of it, little by little. And so our bathroom is just basically like a glorified closet at this point, just because we really don't have hardly any room here. This way you can see I'm being very conservative in the order that I'm adding my blocks. But that's really it right there. We can put staircase down <clears throat> excuse me we could put a staircase down to emphasize the toilet and i think uh, other than that there's really not that much that we'll be able to do in this room could throw down a cauldron right next to it to give the idea that it's uh you can wash your hands there i don't think i'd do it in this video but if you want to put one right next to the um the staircase you definitely could and then you know you'd have a makeshift uh, restroom Again, we can't build out that way because now we're building into that side of the corridor. I think we're just going to close that off. Let's go with a darker gray on that back wall. Just to give a little bit of color in this room and have it match up. There we go. Now it's starting to look like we did this on purpose. You can see, you know, where you have a, uh, a challenge like that, where you don't have a heck of a lot of room. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a 
had a frog in my throat for the course of this episode. I've been trying to clear my throat, but no, um, that's just, you know, an instance where, you know, you're present with a challenge of that you don't really have a heck of a lot of room to work with. And you can just see, you know, I very conservatively just added blocks little by little just to see what type of solid structure I can make that looked good. Um, I, it wasn't, you know, set on any design. It was just kind of working with what I was being given, kind of. But I think this room came out pretty good. There's not not a heck of a lot more that we can do to it at this point. Um, other than some, you know, glorified cake decoration. But I think at the entryway point outside in our corridor, we can add a light here. Just to give it a little bit more detail, I think it needs it. But this is where I was talking about. Now what we can do is we can delete these two blocks right here and build out. But I have to double check. I think on this side of the wall here, I'm pretty sure that might be the bowling alley. So I need to double check that before I tell you guys to go ahead and do it. But um, if that is the case, we can just move this second one to maybe somewhere else on the ship. But we'll... I'll figure it out. I'll uh, probably have something either by tomorrow's episode, if not the next time we do another uh, bedroom, because there's some other stuff we've got to do. I think the Arbitarium is next up. I have to go back and look, but uh, it's hard to believe that we're almost done with this tutorial series, and uh, it doesn't look like we're even going to hit 100. I feel like we're we might get to... 80 maybe 82 but i think that that might be stretching it we'll, we'll have to see but i think that's probably where about we're gonna fall on give or take because there's really not that much more we have to do at this point because once we get the rest of the interior done the only other thing i have to do is put the registration numbers on the outside of the ship and then she's done. And then I'm going to do a, a walk through the ship and actually go through a full tour of it so we can just check out everything that we've done over the course of the last two months. But I think the, all in all, this bedroom has uh, come out really good today. I'm very happy with it. It definitely carries over that retro feel to it. And uh, the size of it, it's not super big. It's uh, definitely not as big as some of the bedrooms on Discovery. But again, different class ships. They're going to, obviously the rooms are not all going to look exactly the same. But anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for me today uh, with episode 74. I just want to thank you very much again for tuning into today's video. If you did enjoy today's content, uh, please help me out by hitting that like uh, button. If you're new to the channel, uh, please check out my videos. You know, I've got a lot more to come. Uh, definitely have uh, the mock tutorial, the Enterprise D, a full scale uh, tutorial, the Enterprise D to come, as well as the Serratos. Uh, that's going to be coming and uh, you know definitely hit that subscribe button because you know otherwise you won't how else would we be able to check out these videos and uh, again if you did enjoy these videos don't forget you can always catch new minecraft episodes tuesdays through fridays and you can also catch my new starship evo builds on mondays anyway uh, if there's any other builds that you'd like to see me do be sure to drop a comment below if there's any other questions that you have regarding this episode if it wasn't being specific enough be sure to drop a comment and that's going to wrap it up for me. Just want to thank everyone again. Hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And I will catch you on the next video.